All right, today I was going to go fly. I was gonna try out my new tailwheel suspension with a 1500 pound spring. Let me show you real quick. It's got a lot stiffer spring now. Still, I think the 2000 pound spring is gonna do the job a little bit better. I was gonna take you out to an airstrip about 25 minutes from here, an old BLM mining strip that I've taken once. And I was gonna do some walking around, things like that, but my comm radio just died on me today. But before we get to that, let me show you what else I'm gonna be doing changing wise down here. All right, so I checked this with the design. I had a piece of paper. It is bent just a tiny bit right here. It was already bent. I mean, I already had to bend in the design just because it looked a little bit nicer. So I am going to redesign this for one to make it a little bit shorter. I'm gonna put some pre-sag into it so that my pivot angle is correct because I designed it to have no angle what's or no sag at all and that's what's causing it really hard to turn. So if I can do that, it'll bring it back up to the ride height that I want it to be, which is around 19 to 19 and a half inches off the ground right here. So I'm gonna redesign that with a 7075 aluminum instead of the 6061, it's gonna be stronger. I was originally gonna do that, but was kind of talked out of it. I'm also gonna redesign this front mount up here to not have it cut out just to make it a little bit stronger up there. So overall, all I have to do is basically change this bar out and change that out. But, like I said, my comm radio screen went out on me. On my last flight that I took, um, when I tried this out the first time, the screen was kind of like slowly fading out, and then when I just reset it, it would come right back on and it was working. I took my folks out on a couple flights when they were here this last week and it worked just fine then. And then this morning it's all like scrambled. Let me, let me show you real quick. All right, as you can see, there's no numbers there. It should be black with some numbers and it's just all like garbled 1989 kind of look. So I called ICOM, the maker of this just today, well, just an hour ago, to see if they actually still work on it. And thankfully they do, but they also said it might be like a four week return. Um, so that's why I'm making this video, to let you guys know that I might not be able to make Kit Fox content over the next month. I do have some PNG videos for you guys, but um, some of you guys might be interested in kind of what it looks like behind um, the instrument panel, things like that, or how I'm gonna get it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing it and see if I can't get it shipped out today to get going on this. The nice thing about this is it's just two screws. There is another one that I can put right in there, but I didn't just because I've been working on it a lot and didn't want to have to put it in all the time. Try this again. It was a little bit loose in there. Nope. <laughs> That's too bad. I was hoping that would do it. I saw two little pieces of aluminum shavings, probably from me, honestly, when I was drilling these. Um, I don't see how they could have got inside of this though, because this is 100% sealed, except right here, but I have no clue. That's the only thing I could have thought that might have short-circuited something out. I don't see any burn marks anywhere or anything like that, so. Let me shove it back in there. One last try for good measure before I send this thing out for a month, potentially. Make sure all that looks good. Connections back here look really nice. That's good. Try it one more time. Nope, the screen is dead. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna be sending this out. Well, I really thought this video was gonna be a little bit longer than like probably two minutes or less. But I wanted to give you guys an update so you guys know why I'm not flying, things like that. I'm gonna get this shipped out this afternoon and hopefully get an answer back from them. 
on how much it might cost to repair, or if I should just go maybe a used route and get something off eBay just so I can just plug and, plug and play and get going again. So I don't know, I think used ones on eBay are right around 550 or so for this exact same model, so it would just be a plug and play. And I have no idea how much a repair is gonna cost, but a new one's like 1500 bucks, and to be honest, I didn't think it was like that great to begin with. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next few videos. Videos, they will be some PNG videos. I've got a lot of them that I haven't even shared with you guys. So still a lot more fun adventures over there. So thanks guys, see you next time.